On your left. Uh huh. On my left. Got it. Don't say it. Don't you say it. On your left. Come on. What's up, guys? It's Quinn. It's Alex. It's Iconic Comic. We're back for the On Your Left podcast with Iconic Comic. This is episode twelve. It's a big one. Twelve. It's been a. It's been a while since we've done a podcast. Um, thought we'd do one of these because one you know, of we, these. One of these. <laughs> um, took we took a lot of time off. You had a lot of trips that you went on. Um, I just got back from one. So I thought we'd do a podcast just to kind of catch up on all the all the jazz. I've uh, I've mentioned that like the summer is like the worst recording schedule. Like it's <laughs> it's tough. A lot of people that have podcasts, it's not. I mean, it's it's their it's a big part of their life. But this isn't our full time job. So it's yeah, and the summer is a big like yeah trips all kinds of shit. But. Everything should be settling down here come September. Yeah, it's tough. But, but what we're going to start with today is... A word from our sponsors. <laughs> we got a uh, another package from T-Block. So we got two yeah, shirts in here. Let's hold it up Let's hold it up to the camera. It's hold it up to the camera. T-Blocks. There we go. Um, cool. All and, right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fine. I'm you, opening it. You can open it. I am just realizing that, like... Our audio listeners are like, "Well, this is fun." <laughs> uh, yeah, we we bear part- with us through this part. We we partnered with T Blocks a long time oh, ago. Careful, part we uh, we've gotten a, a lot of really cool T shirts from them. Um, and here's mine. It is a red red shirt, and on the front of it, mine's a Step Brothers T shirt. <laughs> um, thank you, T Blocks. I don't think you realize how big the movie Step Brothers was in my life. <laughs> um, on my senior class ring, I got Call Me Dragon engraved on the inside, <laughs> and that's a true fact. Um, you can look it up. <laughs> there, um, there's so much room for activities with a makeshift bunk bed <laughs> on the shirt. That is hilarious, and I will wear. And show it to the camera. I will. The, I will the wear out of this the shirt. So that's his. I have a Talladega Nights one. And mine says, I'm going to come at you like a spider monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got a spider monkey <laughs> Oh, my gosh. See, I... I, I a camera. I, I love these shirts. I, I love shirts that grab attention, yeah. that make me laugh, where, like, I, I, I will wear this shirt on multiple occasions. Weddings, birthdays, so, what have you. Uh, we got a couple uh, little offers here uh, from T-Blocks. We got uh, this offer called Rule the School. Uh, I guess it's this back-to-school kind of offer thing they're doing here. Uh, licensed T-shirts, so anything that's like based off movies or anything, then they got a whole category of licensed stuff. Uh, you can uh, buy one and get one 25% off uh, if you use the code RULESCHOOLTBX, and I'll throw that up on screen, but I'll say it again for you guys that are just listening, RULESCHOOLTBX, and that's buy one, get one 25% off of licensed t-shirts. And then there's also uh, economy t-shirts, so just like normal kind of t-shirts that they're selling uh, for back to school, nine ninety nine shipping included. What? Yeah, that's a good deal, guys. So go take advantage of that. Go to tbox.com. We'll throw the links also in our description box of this video. Um, yeah, so... Not no, I'm not not just saying this just because uh, they sent us T-shirts, but I know you really like T-shirts. I like T-shirts. He, she, we love T-shirts. <laughs> now, um, I I always love getting a new shirt. And I love like especially the ones that get attention. And I like to like think that like. When you get that T-shirt where you're like, I'm wearing this to see if people notice almost. <laughs> yeah. And these are ones that I feel like people would – because anything with words on it, people are going to read. And anything with a bunk bed or a spider monkey, people are going to well, like, stop and look at. Somebody that stops me while I'm wearing this shirt, I know – Is a Step Brothers fan. I can be their friend. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're friendly. That's like I saw today. I saw somebody wearing a shirt that said, you're killing me, Smalls. I'm like, yes, great shirt. Exactly. I love I love stopping people and telling them they have a great T-shirt. Because I know that makes me feel really good. <laughs> yeah, like when when somebody stops me and tells me I have a great T-shirt, that also makes me feel good. Except if it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I was going to say what? <laughs> I lost the thought. Anyway, so T-Blocks. T-Blocks. Thank you very much for that. Oh, I'm going to turn my phone down on silent. My bad. Um. So 
Infinity War just came out on Blu-ray. Well, I guess by the yeah by the time this is up, Infinity War will have come out on Blu-ray. It seems really fast. They want people to watch it more. But now I'm just thinking that Captain Marvel trailer is right around the corner. Maybe you don't know that it comes out in March. What if it's right before the movie? When when you pop it in, if you buy the Blu-ray, ooh, in the trailer. Ooh, Marvel. Incentive to... Well, then people would just put it on YouTube after that, but incentive to buy the Blu-ray at first, I guess. Um, but that Captain Marvel trailer needs to be... It's got to be great, because there's a lot of pressure on that movie right now, and a, for a lot of pressure on her character. Because right now, based off the after... By the way, anything going forward is spoilers for Infinity War, but if you haven't seen it by now, what the fuck are you doing? Like, <laughs> um, but, but, but And the credit scene put a lot of pressure on her character. Yeah, but but also with Brie Larson herself. Now, when what's the last thing you've seen her in? Uh, Room. Yeah, I didn't see that. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Kong, Skull Island. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that was the last that's thing right. I saw her in. Okay. She was good in that. She was good in that. Um, that. That movie with her, now Now that I think about it, I mean, that, that movie had action, which... You know, j- just because an actor plays in an action movie, it's that doesn't always mean they'll be good in a Marvel movie. Mm-hmm. But we said the same thing about Paul Rudd. Right. At this point, I pretty much trust their casting. Yeah. If, if, if anything else, like story, writing, directing, whatever, casting I think is the number one thing I trust Marvel with because they haven't fucked up. What hair do you think they'll go with? I, think, I don't think they're going to go with short for the 90s movie. But it would be badass if she showed up in in, in Avengers four with the the short haircut, with the short hair with the long in the middle. Yeah, I think that would be badass. But I don't know if that's a, a a look that looks just good in the comics and not good on screen. And it's also got to you know the it, it's got to be what does the actor look good in? Because if the you know if she doesn't look good with that and it, she just looks good with longer hair, then that's what they should go with. Yeah. But and I'm almost betting. We got the very first Black Panther trailer that wasn't the like a Comic Con teaser. We got the first full trailer for Black Panther in October. And that came out in February. I think that's a good time for uh I think that's a good time for a Captain Marvel trailer if it's coming out in March. And then very last week of November, just like they do with every May Avengers movie, Avengers four trailer. But when are the when are we gonna get the title? Like do you think they'll drop it with the trailer, or do you think they'll drop it early? I feel like there's no way they're going to keep it underground. Like eventually, it's going to, it will leak out eventually, and they're just going to be like, "That's the title." Yeah, you know, with Marvel, when when stuff leaks out, we always know if it leaks out, they are very quick to be like, "All right, they're just cool. going to own it." All right, because like, the Age of Ultron trailer leaked, like in within ten minutes, they were like, "All right, damn it, Hydra, here's the trailer." <laughs> um, but I am. What do you show in that Avengers 4 trailer? Like, you cannot show anything from the back half of that movie. It's got to be everything in the first, like, 30 minutes, maybe. I'm I'm betting they show a scene of Cap and Tony together, because we didn't get that at all in Infinity War. They cannot show anybody who's dusted. They cannot do that. Yeah. That, that, I'm not saying they're not going to come back, but they can't show that. The the trickiest movie of how they're what they're how how they're gonna market it is Spider Man Far From Home because that yeah. comes out in July. I, I, how do I they market that? I have like up until Infinity War, things were just kind of like okay here here's here's the movie we're gonna pull pieces from every part of the movie, but they really have to be careful now. I trust them to be I careful. Don't, I don't think they're going to... Like, they're smart. Marvel has never put a big, like, a doomsday thing. You know yeah. what I mean? They've never done that. So I've, I'm, 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 I trust them. I think, really, we're going to get a lot of, like... I feel like it's going to be very similar to the first Infinity War trailer, where literally half the trailer is that little, like, tribute montage. Like, there was an idea. Like, stuff like that, where it's just, like... We might even we might even get some clips from Infinity War just thrown in that trailer. Now that might piss people off because it's like, all right, now you're just pulling from the well. But I would rather them do that than give us a spoiler. And I don't think they will, but they got to give us two trailers before Avengers Four. So I think it's well, well. I think the the big like the first ten 
10 seconds of the trailer it's do you think they'll show the the pager Ooh, now that's the thing they can show they i'm they could show captain marvel because it would like oh ah, no, no 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 not in the first trailer they can't they can't show captain marvel in the first trailer they could show it in the second trailer after the captain marvel has already came out but at, since captain marvel hold on had, you're you're losing me since Captain Marvel will have not come out by the time the first trailer drops, I think that's it's not good to put her in there. So you can't even show like a Spider Man shot, you know what I'm saying? But I think because she just hasn't had her own movie yet, people are still gonna be like, huh? But if Captain Marvel's a huge crush and everybody's loving it like Wonder Woman. Oh duh, because it's set in the past. Yeah, it's set in duh. the nineties. Okay. My, yeah. If that movie's a huge hit, she's gonna be in the second trailer, right before Avengers 4 comes out. She's oh, going to yeah. be in the second trailer. Oh, just yeah. like how uh, Spider-Man was in that second Civil War trailer, something like that, where she yeah. just like, it's like Thanos across from Tony and Cap, and then she drops down in the middle. Boom. Huh. <laughs> oh, God. I like. I don't know how they're going to beat him. <laughs> I, think, I think the gauntlet's toast. Now, well, the directors said that. No, well, they didn't say that. They said both Thanos and the gauntlet are permanently damaged, but doesn't mean they're broken. The gauntlet you could still use. He can still use, but it's not at its full power. But the stones are still at their full power. Like, the stones are fine. It's the weapon. Now, wouldn't it be some shit if he went and got another one? <laughs> That'd be like, it'd be like, damn. Well, he's got, like, spares. <laughs> like, he used the right hand. <laughs> like, like, he found the right hand. But then Tony takes that one snaps everybody back <laughs> i've been saying that for a while now where it's literally like like last man standing again it's stark and thanos everybody's dead even the people in this movie have died except for tony and it's just like avengers age of ultron they're all dead caps dead wait, wait oh dead. my god and then oh my god and then tony's just you know how could you beat me stark you lost the first time i did i did lose and i can't beat you alone Snap, and then the whole fucking universe behind him <sighs> fades back in, and then you just see Cap lead the charge. Avengers, assemble! And he finally says it. Oh my god! You know what I think? Just is- like the old man said, together. <laughs> see what I what I so DC my who <laughs> my fanboy dream would be um, Cap and Tony, and I know I've told you this, and I know I've said it on a podcast before. But I just like to re- relive the thought. So the two of them, they both stand up together. Oh my god! Yeah, and Cap asks Tony if he if he's okay, and Tony says the famous line, "I can do this all day." <laughs> I would love that. But back to your theory with like your fanboy theory, like that would just make your like you, that scene could come up and you could die happy. I think what's going to happen. Hold on. I'm I'm listening. I think you know what I'm going to say. I think what Tony does since he I think he can get get control of the stones for a brief period of time. He trades his soul for all the others. <gasps> and that's how he dies. Somebody was telling me that I think with this whole, like, you know, they're going to have to reconcile Cap and Tony. The final reconcile is Tony, like, jumping in front of something and sacrificing his life for Cap. That would be like, oh. Because if Cap did it for Tony... That'd be like, oh, well, he... He would do that. Like, he would. But that would be... That, oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think, I, I think there's a good chance... I think the... The Avengers, when I'm, I'm talking original six, that have the best chance of surviving Thor, Hulk. Hulk's going to have a fucking giant moment in this movie. Dude, I cannot <laughs> wait for... Dude... <laughs> world Breaker. Oh, world Breaker Hulk is coming out, dude. Like, I think Nat's going to die. And then he's going to fucking... Lo- like, he's going to split from Banner. Like, like, he, like, it'll be like... Oh my god! 
I've only seen this in like one comic, but he turns into the Hulk and then reaches in and rips Banner out. I've never seen that. But. <laughs> that would be a little crazy, but like, and then he just he gets bigger, like he's just giant. Because God, it's a, it's amazing every time I watch that scene where he's fucking up Thanos, and then all of a sudden it's nothing. Boom, MMA moves, knee to the face, like elbows. That's crazy. I what? Okay. Uh, okay, so <laughs> Thanos is across from the Hulk, and it's like, you remember what happened in round one, but <laughs> Some he, would say, he, he would say it way better, um, and then, like, he, he blasts him with the damaged gauntlet, and then he, he pulls an Ultron where he looks down and <laughs> spits out a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesy. No. Sorry. I just had to get that off my chest. <laughs> um, or he catches the gauntlet. I still get goosebumps. Hulk with the gauntlet. <laughs> Would he be able to put it on? Well, what if he, they're about similar size, him and Thanos. He grabs the gauntlet and goes for a low uppercut. Boom! Thanos goes flying. He's got the gauntlet. And it comes off. <laughs> Boom! Grabs it in his own hand. And Snaps then, him back. <laughs> Oh, um, there. Oh. My that's my that's the question. That is the question. Who's gonna beat him? Because, yeah, it makes sense that they're all going to work together beat him, to beat him. But somebody want somebody Star Lord has to be no, no. fuck him. <laughs> somebody <laughs> he had his chance to has to up. be the hero. Now I was listening to pieces of the director's commentary of Infinity War. And they said a lot of cool shit, like a lot of stuff where I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. Like, that, like, oh, one was like, remember when Cap comes in and saves Vision from Corvus Glaive in Wakanda and he runs in? Originally, in the, like, one of the first drafts, that was gonna be Cap's first appearance in the movie. Like, like, we haven't seen him all movie. We really? don't, we don't know where he is. And then, like, out of nowhere comes Captain America out of the shadows and just tackles Corvus Glaive and just starts. Or they said back in that original script, he still he had a new circle shield and you just see the shield come in, and boom, hit him and come back to Cap. That would be pretty dope. But I I love his entrance in this. The way they did the entrance. How would he get to Wakanda? I know a place. I'm he could find a fucking way. Um, I'm sure that the whole draft was probably different. They said there were so many drafts of the script. In and out, different people died. Crazy shit. There was there was once a draft with like a hundred speaking parts. Like <laughs> craziness. Like I would have loved to be a fly on the wall in that writers' room where they're just bouncing ideas off their heads. I feel like it's a lot like this right now. Me, me, and you. <laughs> this would be so awesome. But they're better at like putting it down on paper. Um, but they have to get it out. Yeah, I would think. But one of the things they were saying was Captain America has a major arc in the next movie. Like he he is pro- he is probably the biggest arc in the next movie, which makes sense because he didn't really to get he got nothing to do in this movie except be cool. Like he said literally a couple lines and you know, he was just he, he I like I really think he's not Captain of Infinity War. He's not Captain America. That's not who he is. He's nomad or whatever. Um because even though they call him Cap, like they call him Cap every once in a while. He is not the same person. I think he's going to pick that mantle back up, and that's going to be his arc, kind of like how Thor was getting Stormbreaker. Cap's arc is going to be getting back that mantle, and that's going to be really cool. And I think it's going to be either you him, the, him, Thor, or Tony are going to be the final blow. You think the Stars and Stripes are a little old-fashioned? Old fashioned? <laughs> and then Coulson comes back. And <laughs> well, Coulson's going to be in Captain Marvel. So. New suit. God, and we're gonna be, we're gonna see the Battle of New York again from like some other angles with Ant Man there, and ugh, <laughs> that's crazy to me. And k- 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 there's a World War II set. Are they going back in time to there? They're are they going to like every? Oh my God, they go to like every MCU mo- movie with an Infinity Stone in it to like find out where it is so they can go back and stop it from even happening. And it hurts my head to think about almost. There's so much. This movie, I feel like, is gonna be bigger. Yeah, and now that I think about it, you know how um, with Star Wars, they they made um, uh, the the Force Awakens, and I said that it was a New Hope 
for a new generation. So, yeah, that's what I said. But then going forward, the only way you can be a new Marvel fan and really appreciate it, you got to start from scratch. Like, you can't start an Infinity <laughs> War. I'm sure somebody did. I I know firsthand that people did. That makes me angry. Doesn't it? But at the same time, if it if it makes them love it, then But like cool. they but but then they came back to work and they were like, Well, what what was that jungle place? <laughs> oh my god. That's the thing, because that's what people were saying, like uh the flaw in Infinity War is that it doesn't stand on its own. I'm like, duh. That's it's no, not supposed to stand on its own. That movie was for the diehards that have been there since. That 08. movie's not supposed to stand on its own. You, you're supposed like all there is almost the only character development in that movie is Thanos. Yeah. All the other character development really uh, there's some Thor. Thor. There's some Thor. There's a little bit of Tony. Um maybe some Doctor Strange, but the majority is Thanos. Definitely not everybody gets character development because we got that all in the past 18 movies. <laughs> because, and if they, if they even tried to do that with a five hour any long movie, of, well, with, with even one character, it's like, okay, we know that already. We're right. like, we're good. Like they, they had to do different things. Uh, the only thing, uh, the only character that I could have seen them trying to do that with is Black Panther. Yeah, but his movie had just came out also. Exactly. That's insane to me that like they were filming Black Panther and Infinity War at the same time. They didn't know how big of a hit Black Panther was going to be. They were just gambling that it would be and it paid off. Like, oh, Black Panther was one of the biggest superhero movies of all time and it just so happens that the almost the entire third act of Infinity War takes place in Wakanda. <laughs> that works. <laughs> right? And like I, f- I feel like Black Panther is okay. I'm okay with him dusting at this point just because he – we've had a lot of Black Panther of late. We haven't had a lot of – like we haven't seen Cap in two years. We haven't seen – That's weird to me. I know. We haven't seen Tony in two uh, – we saw him in Homecoming a little bit but not really doing a lot, just kind of being a dad. But we really haven't seen Tony in action in two years. We haven't. We saw Thor at the end of last year, but this was kind of just kind of really bookending his change in arc as a as a king now and, and as a fallen king and someone who's lost so much. And I, I really really love Thor after this movie. I mean, I've always loved Thor, but this movie made me like Thor is one of my favorites of all time. Like, and uh, who else we got? You know, Black Widow didn't get a ton to do. We haven't seen her since Civil War. We haven't seen Hawkeye since Civil War, but we'll see him in the next one. And I'm trying to think of the original Avengers. Uh, Hulk, he was in Thor too. So, but those guys, it makes sense that they're the the ones that are left because we're going to have, they're going to send it off. Cool. It, it's going to be emotional because I feel like there's a there's a chance, I don't know about, it actually happened, but there's a chance that all six originals lay down their lives so the new Avengers can be resurrected and be alive now. Wait, you think they'll all do that? That'd be something crazy, though, like just to pass the torch. You know what I'm saying? Now, some could stay alive. I could see Black Widow living. I could honestly see Cap going on just because he is young. He's a young guy. Uh, is he? Like the actor? Yeah, he's a young guy. Well, yeah. I mean, not the character. He's 100 years like, old. Come on, man. But, you know... Like Tony, I feel like is a definite. He's gone. Cap right now, I feel is seventy thirty. There's a seventy percent chance he's gone. Thirty percent chance he stays alive. For Thor and Hulk are fifty fifty with me right now. I think if if it happens, it's something crazy that happens with the fuck. <laughs> something wrong with your mic. Um, some, something crazy happens 50, 50 with those guys. I think black widow is actually like a 30% chance. I think she's, I think her and Hawkeye are about 30%. I think they'll be fine. I think Hawkeye's going to have a badass opening scene. Whenever he shows up, I think his family died and he, he's going to be the Ronin when he comes mm. back. <laughs> Jeez. Like almost like a cap entrance from this one, but with him, like what if Thanos is just standing there and gets an arrow straight into the eye socket and then you just see him miss me 
<laughs> oh my god. And then it's like, I have unfinished business with Thanos. Yeah, get in line. Because <laughs> his family died. <laughs> like, yeah. But he says it not like, because in Avengers, it's like, yeah, get in line. Or, yeah, why don't you tell my wife that? Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> tell that to my kids. <laughs> god. <laughs> All these things that we're saying will never, ever, 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 ever happen. Although we predicted... Here's the thing. <laughs> the things that, that we predicted in Infinity War, most of the things we predicted post-first trailer... We predicted Stormbreaker before the first trailer. Yeah. But a lot of the things... It was post-first trailer, so we had an idea of the structure of the movie. Once we have an idea of the structure, it's kind of a lot easier to kind of put, put things in places... Right now, we have no idea what this movie is going to be. So we're just like, and then, and then they're on the floating space rock out there. And, 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 by the way, like, where was that? Like, <laughs> did he just decide to say, fuck the space rock? I'm on a big spaceship now. <laughs> I, this is my throne. You can't, you, I think they might have retconned that whole, like, end of Avengers, middle of Guardians oh, of the Galaxy, like, oh, oh, oh. rock area in oh. space because. <laughs> Remember Gamora is like talking about that chair. I always hated that chair. Like that was his throne inside that ship. So it's like I feel like they're just kind of retconning that that place. I, I didn't even catch that, but that may have just. I mean, that may have just been his mobile going chair. mobile. Like hit. <laughs> What's that from? Bane. Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> We're going mobile. Anyway. Uh, you you could easily just say yeah that that was just his his throne that he just kind of took from place to place cuz he's he's trying to find the infinity stones or whatever whatever right um I don't, it's just it's so big it's it's redonkulous like i don't even there's so mm. <laughs> see here's the thing if nat dies oh my god but no not i'm not Can you hear me out <laughs> If Nat dies, there's going to be an uproar. Like of the fans? Well, no. they've already announced a Black Widow movie, but it's going to be a prequel. Okay, cool. But I feel like there's going to be a lot of backlash for it. Just, just because she really didn't get a lot to do. I mean, in Infinity War, the Battle of Wakanda, that was a really cool scene with her. And She's then, not alone. That's bad. <laughs> no, she had some some cool scenes, but she was a bit. Her and Cap were pretty like the same in Infinity War. Like yeah, in Falcon too. Oh, but Falcon's gone. <laughs> yeah, he's dusted. Um, sh- th- that would have to happen towards the end of the movie anyway. Like if it happened in the beginning. <sighs> Oh, yeah, that would be bad. I don't think it would happen towards the beginning. Yeah, because it would be the same thing with any of them. Like, if Cap died, like, in the first ten minutes, people would be pissed. I would be furious. I'd be like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, we, they just I would be Nick Furious. Oh, my God. But, um, but I just keep imagining, what if we get, like, an internal dialogue with Bruce Banner and the Hulk? Like, like with Venom? Right. Like, oh. like a Jekyll Hyde thing? Oh, my God. Like, Banner, just, like... I think there's going to be a time jump. Like, it's all you, buddy. And then he just <laughs> I think Pull Hulk. the mic closer to you. Don't tell me what to do, bitch. <laughs> I think there's going to be a time jump um, between Infinity War and... I think it's going to be, like, a four-year time jump. Between Infinity War and... Avengers 4. I think it's going to be 4? a... Decent time jump, and I think during this time, t- t- Tony has been Tony has gotten back to Earth. He's trying to figure out what to do. Half the population is still fucking gone, and he's slowly finding out like Pepper's dead. Oh my um, god! Do you think Pepper Pepper's dead? Do you see? I don't because Peter died. If Peter didn't die, if Spider Man didn't die, I would have said yes. But I think that's too much. I think that's. I think that's too much. I mean, I know that they're trying to gut punch us, but I think that's too much. You think so? Yeah. I think Aunt May's definitely alive, so that Tony has to tell her. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. And she knows that he's Spider-Man. Yeah. So it's an easy conversation that, oh, hey, he went on a mission, but hey. He's dead. (laughs) Well, you see, 
really though, Tony shouldn't blame himself. Really, I mean, he's going, but to. but he's going to. Like, it was. Just, it may not have been him. It was just random. You know what I mean? Like, it could have been. It was random. It could have been Tony. Like perfectly balanced, ugh. as all things should be. Um, that's that's the eeriest thing. Like, I I think about like in our world, like if just half the people fucking died. That's crazy. That's Half. a lot of Bam. people. That's 3.5 billion people. Gone. gone. <laughs> Dunsky. And that's why I love the first 10 seconds of that second Ant-Man after credit scene where mm-hmm. it's just the, the empty house, empty streets, and the TV is on the uh, emergency aware national emergency station. It was just like, ee- and it's like super eerie like oh my god this is real this shit's affecting everything just like the after credit scene in infinity where helicopters are falling out of the sky cars are crashing like what's on the news what do you even say like well we don't know what's happening but people are disappearing <laughs> like, like what the fuck yeah i i don't know i i i have no idea what if Hawkeye's actually dead? I don't think people would be really pissed. Yeah. No. Um. I think the unborn baby's gonna die. That, that's messed up. That's a political thing, right there. You're, that's a political argument at that point. Oh you know uh, yeah. Mean? I don't think they're okay, gonna step the into wife. That. You know what? Well, they've had the baby by now. It's been since Ultron. No, uh, I guess at the, so. Well, they had him at the yeah, end. Yeah, you're right. I thought you were talking about Pepper. That's a real political oh, yeah, argument she, there. She, okay, okay. I think she. I think she is pregnant though. Oh yeah. Which means I think she dusted. Fuck. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's and then, and then Tony just finds the tests in the trash can. Like, <gasps> stop it! Stop. That's messed Come up. Come on. Isn't it? No, they're not going to do that. No, that'd be a little cray cray. Yeah, they're not going to do that. They're they're not that crazy. I feel like I'm really loud right here, but yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. It's it, it I feel like it's good to say things that go beyond the line just so we know where the line is. And I think they they know where the line is. I know that that idea has has had to have come up. Oh. It's like no, we can't do that. That's too far. God. <laughs> But That's... but Hawkeye's family, I could totally see. Oh, they're gone. All of them gone. Oh yeah. Or just one, just the one kid, or, or one of the kids. The baby. No, not Dude, the, not the. No, 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 that'd no. be crazy. Not that far. The uh, you monster. <laughs> let's see. He has a he has a son and a daughter and a and a baby and a, and a baby. wife. Okay, I think one of the. They're all gone, but the baby. So he's got the baby like on his back. <laughs> Okay. Which, which, and he accidentally grabs the baby instead of the arrows, <laughs> or the baby is handing him arrows. Oh, this is great! This is great. Right, so Hawkeye movie, right there. Oh my God. Would you rather have a live action Hawkeye movie, same universe, Jeremy Renner, all that jazz, um, or Daredevil into the MCU? Stupid question. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I think that's well for me. I'm like I want to see Daredevil. <laughs> see you. Yeah, see, I don't really. I, like, I'm I'm okay with him not being in there right now. Daredevil, Black Widow. No, I think like the same Daredevil. Yeah. In the TV show, yeah. no, I don't think that I don't think that would fly. I just because they're 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 just. <sighs> The MCU has gone so long with its characters. I feel like with Daredevil, I think it would just kind of be weird. I kind of want to see a cameo in Avengers Four, though. I don't just a know. quick little, quick little Defenders cameo because by that time, Daredevil season th- dude, Daredevil season three is coming out this year. <laughs> <laughs> they cannot ignore the events of Infinity War. If they do, then they are screwing themselves. Well, if they do, 
then you have to say, all right, Netflix is separate. Yeah. Because up to this point, it's connected, but vaguely. Like, they talk about the incident when they yeah. talk about New York and shit. And yeah. you've already talked like, about they, it. They've seen, like, you've seen Iron Man, like, on newspapers and shit, that kind of stuff. And they talk about guys with hammers falling out of the sky. They vaguely reference. They don't say Thor. They don't say Iron Man. They don't say Captain America. But still. They if they mean, ignore Infinity War, then you have to be like, all right, it's they're separate. They th- from this point on, they're separate. Like th- those one-off lines that you heard, just ignore them. Or you say Netflix is a part of a different universe, like multiverse. Mm. Dudes, I was twenty-nine and nine. I was watching. I don't know why. <laughs> I was watching a Looper. You ever watch Looper videos? Yes. They got some good vids, and it was like things things that will make Avengers four blow our minds. And they were saying it will it could introduce the Marvel Cinematic Multiverse. Oh, <laughs> so where it's like you have just like the comics where there's like the six one six and you know there's all these different universes, mm-hmm. the Ultimate Universe, all this other stuff. Drake Bell. <laughs> That's how we get some of these characters back, but they're in, they're in different universes, and then we have like. Three three different universes going on at the same time. So you're like three Black Panthers, and then and we and then <laughs> we have a giant fucking Secret Wars movie. That's the next big thing. Like Infinity War is this big thing in this one universe, and then we split off into these universes, and then we have a giant ass Secret Wars movie. Boom, giant. That I mean, I think I just did it. <laughs> I think I just did it. Um, <laughs> and then just God. I want. I know it's not going to happen, but God, I want Silver Surfer to just show up at the end of this movie. <laughs> That'd be so awesome. It would be, but there's a big ass but there. Oh, Fantastic Four. Hold on. Re Richards. Hold on. Rawr. The thing is, the thing I didn't like about the Netflix shows is that all of them in general, all of them. As it, t- hear me out. There was a pattern where there was an idea. <laughs> no, 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 no. But there, there was a villain that posed a really big threat. They beat him. Oh, you thought that was the villain? Here's the next villain. Okay. Like here, here, here's the next, the top tier, or like the next tier of villain. But it happened in this, like, like with Luke Cage. Mm-hmm. Like with that show, I love that. I love that show. The first season was great, loved it. But it kind of got old with the whole. And then uh, after that was Iron Fist, or I watched Iron Fist right after that, and it was just I'm kind of tired of this, like this R- RPG style type of villain thing where you beat one villain, it's like okay, and then move on to the. Like you, you're just moving on from villain to villain. Mm-hmm. So you have Thanos and then Galactus. What? <laughs> I know. But the thing is, that's the comics were always the same way, though. The comics were exactly the same. There was always the bigger thing, and always escalation. But the thing is, they can do that as long as they bring it down again and build back up to Thanos, build back up to Galactus. You know what I'm saying? They can't just go, and the next Avengers is Galactus. No, the next Avengers, they're fighting the Sinister Six. (laughs) (laughs) And it's just like, that's what they're doing from here, and then in ten more years, it's Galactus. And they build, in the next Avengers, it's Sinister Six. Second Avengers, Doctor Doom. Third Avengers, Galactus. With, with the Doctor Fantas- Doom, Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four, X Men, <laughs> the, the like like we think this is the biggest movie of all time, the biggest biggest comic book movie of all time, all the X Men, the Fantastic Four, every Avenger against Galactus and Doctor Doom, boom. Do you even hear what I'm saying right now? <laughs> yeah. This is going to be giant. <laughs> I understand how big that would be. But make it five hours. I, I don't care. <laughs> I can just see see you with a like a cot right there in, <laughs> in the theater. I ain't sleeping. No, you see me with a diaper on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, like a catheter. Here's the thing, though. You, so you have two villains, right? What you just said, you said two villains against how many heroes? Throw out a number. A <laughs> fuck ton. <laughs> Too many cooks in the kitchen. You could say that about this movie. It's basically Thanos against everybody. Really. His Black Order's there, but when they, when they, when they buckle down, they take care of him. Yeah. It's pretty much Avengers against them. And <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Like, can you, do you think it can go another 10 years? I mean, if they, if they pull from the sort, like the sources that they have, then yeah. Oh my God. Like, like if quality stays right where it's at or better for another 10, 15 20 years we have 30 years of the marvel cinematic universe <laughs> that's that's dumb at that point like like at that point it's like how do we even watch this shit like <laughs> at that point you're not gaining any more fans. new people no 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 because you'd be like all right well you gotta start 20 years ago with iron man one and then you gotta watch 29 more movies by the time avengers uh it by the time let's see there's gonna be three movies that come out next year which will make it 23, 26, 29. By, like, 2022, there will be 30. That's not that far away. 2022 is not that far away. That's hilarious to me. But, like, people are going to look at the MCU like Fast and Furious. It's like, not right, if the quality no, keeps up. but... At some point, if if oh they're, they're making another one like it's that, like, oh there's another superhero, oh like another one with men's and with men in tights. Here we go. Can't wait to miss that one. Which those people are not my friends. I know because it's like well, people keep saying, "Is there superhero fatigue? Is there?" And I go, "No, there's not. There's who bad." Who says that? A lot of people. Say who, that. Says that? <laughs> who says that? Who says that? A lot of people. Who don't. says that? <laughs> And they go like, you know, I think there's going to be super TV or they're going to go the way of the Western eventually and they're going to die off as a genre. I'm like, no, bad movies do that. People just don't like bad movies. If you make good movies, it doesn't matter what they're about, people are going to watch it. Westerns became dog shit. They were just pumping them out and they were terrible movies eventually. So that's why they died. Just like disco music became terrible eventually. That's why that died. And now... If the superhero genre stays quality-wise good, people are going to keep going to see it. Look at Infinity War. Do you think there's superhero fatigue? Two billion dollars. That's ridiculous. It's the highest grossing superhero movie of all time. It's about to cross The Force Awakens. It's going to beat Star Wars. Star Wars has been around for way fucking, well, not as long as the comic books, but way longer than this un like cinematic universe. That's insane to me. Even, God. Even... The fact that you can argue that should speak volumes. Exactly. Like it's it's that it's that tier that you could compare it to Star Wars. And you know Give it another five years and if it's quality wise, just good, I think it's I think it's surpassed. I really do. And here's the thing, and I I want to talk about Star Wars a little bit here. When you hear people talk about Star Wars, what is it mostly about? The originals. The originals and what else? This is just my, my experience. And I don't How know. bad the prequels were. <laughs> How bad they are now. Now and the prequels. So the prequels... But I, that, that's subjective. Because I, I don't think all the new ones are like terrible movies. Here's No, they're not. And I don't think so either. But they could have been way better. Oh, yeah. With even little things. Very little things to major things. The most critical people of Star Wars are Star Wars fans, but they're still going to go see the movies. When you hear someone talk about a Marvel movie, what uh, what's it really about? Like what uh, what are they talking about? Are they talking about how much it sucked and how much they hope the next one's better? Rarely. <laughs> Very rarely. Last time I heard talk like and that And if they do, it's the vocal minority. The last time I heard talk like that was Thor: The Dark World. Yeah, like Man, and they've, still, they've really started to drop off since Avengers. And still... And then Winter Soldier. <laughs> still not a terrible movie itself. Like, the movie's a well-made movie. It's just... It's meh. meh. It's meh. 
but then Winter Soldier right after it, exactly. and then Guardians of the Galaxy, and then Age of Ultron, and like it's Civil War, Ant Man, like, and then it's just like, oh, we just tripped over our feet, we made a mistake, we learned from our mistake. They have they slipped the fuck up since Thor: The Dark World, have they? The o- the only the only way that they would have slipped up is if I go back and watch movies and I can pick out certain things in certain movies where it's like, eh, I I could have done without that. Or like, maybe that could have been better. But I can't think of anything off the top of my head right now. No. This is the best movie franchise in history. <laughs> and I don't care. It's definitely, it's got to be the highest grossing franchise of history in history, right? It has to be. With 20 movies, it's got to be the highest grossing. There's no way more, another franchise has made more money. There's no way. Harry Potter. There's no, in, in eight movies, it made more than 20. There's no way. I don't know, but. None of them hit 2 billion. This Avengers movie's just hit 2 billion. Ugh. Yeah. The it, next it, Avengers movie will hit 2 billion as well. There's no way it won't. There's I, no way it won't. I feel like they just set the bar. I think Captain Marvel will hit a billion too. I think I think this is gonna be the first time Marvel has four films in a row that hit a billion. Right. Um. But I I really can't think of any other like franchises. The the only one I I can hear me out. Fast and Furious. Hear me out. I'm I'm listening. <laughs> Fast and Fu- Hear me out though. Listen to my words. And hear me. Out. Fast and Furious had a lot of movies. Now, Fast and Furious, I think, is... It's better for audiences that are really just going to go and... And, hey, let's, uh, you know, let's, let's go watch a movie. Oh, you can watch something with cars and action? Okay, cool. You know, right now, if you pick someone that doesn't really go to movies that often... The Avengers 4 movie or Captain Marvel is not going to be their first choice. Right. People gravitate to what they know. We know the MCU. So we're going to be there day one, A1. Like, there with the sweaties, <laughs> as you say. But fr- franchises like Fast and Furious and um, I'll, I'll, I'll even throw tra- Transformers in there. They yeah. though those franchises are easier to pick up, and I think that's more attractive to people. Now, back to Harry Potter, that fan base has run so deep. Like, I I don't know how much those movies have grossed in total. A lot, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, I don't I don't think it's if I had to guess, I don't think it's close to Marvel. Be- there's no way. Just numbers-wise, there's no way. Well, even if you picked eight random movies in the MCU, I think they would beat out. At least, like, like if you picked... Because how many movies have made a billion in the MCU? I think Civil War did. Iron Man 3 did. Avengers did. I think all three Avengers did. So all three Avengers, Civil War... Uh, what did I say? Iron Man three, Black Panther. That's six right there. I don't know if there's another one that hit a billion. Infinity War. I said all all three Avengers. Oh, right there. There's six that are over a billion. There there are some Harry Potter movies that I know for sure did not make a billion dollars. Right. Yeah. But then, like, back when Harry Potter was coming out. People really didn't go to the movies that much. Just for Harry Potter. <laughs> Did, I mean, like going to going to the movies to follow a franchise and a fandom that runs so deep. I don't think they. I don't think people went to the movies that much as they do now. I think people go and see movies more now than they did back then. Oh, for sure. And there's more movies that come out now. There's so much. Do you know more. why? Because the MCU <laughs> build the universe. Jeez, all right. Well, I think that was a good podcast. I actually wanted to talk about a lot of other shit too. We just we like I wanted to God, talk. We like, just go off on Marvel, and I really wanted to talk about the Venom movie. 
But I, I kind of don't, though. I really don't. <laughs> I absolutely would rather not talk about that movie. <laughs> uh, fine. <laughs> All right, guys. Fine. Well, we hope you enjoyed episode 12 of the On Your Left podcast. Uh, this is a good one. We really, cha- so, we really, so good. We really, so good. We one. really changed things up. You know, we talked about Marvel a little bit today. <laughs> 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 um, as always, guys, uh, if you're, uh, listening to us, uh, on iTunes or the Google Play Store, make sure you subscribe to us on there. Uh, leave us a review, rate us, give us some stars, maybe a little feedback. Uh, and if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. So you don't miss a single thing from the channel. Also, don't forget, head over to T-Blocks. Like we said earlier, all those links and codes will be down in the description box. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Stay iconic. And cue music. Holy crap! <laughs>